Hello everyone, this is Chris from CNL Farms Grows, and I am out in the woods today. Uh, I was checking out uh, some of our chanterelle mushrooms that we have growing wild on our property, and uh, just wanted to give you a little quick update on what they look like, uh, how to identify them, because you probably have them uh, if you're in the south, uh, growing in shaded areas on your property. Um, so they're a very uh, interesting little mushroom. Uh, they're mainly orange or can be a bright yellow. Uh, they have a uh, false gill. Uh, so in other words, they don't have any gills on them. They just have this wrinkled little look. Uh, and they have a, uh, the aroma of apricots, I believe. Um, it's a very interesting uh, little mushroom. But uh, you can just cut these and uh, they'll just keep coming back. Uh, they usually uh, are going to be in this area for, uh, I don't know, between May and maybe October. Uh, they're typically going to uh, sprout up uh, in the uh, in the woods uh, after a rain, and then when the sun comes out, it gets nice and hot and steamy. Uh, it seems to make them want to just explode. But as you look uh, around in this area, there's there's a number of them, little orange little orange fellas. Uh, there's quite a few. There's one right over there. But I uh, just wanted to. Uh, just show you, if you look through there, you can see three of them, if you can see them, uh, in a little line. So uh, that's just what they look like. So as you're walking through the, the woods, if you see these little orange, yellowish looking mushrooms, uh, then they're probably chanterelles. Now, I'm not going to say that you can just pick anything that looks similar to this, because there are uh, some mushrooms that have a little bit uh, of a similar look, um, but they are, uh, they're not necessarily poisonous to the point where they'll kill you, but they definitely will make you sick. Uh, one of them I think is called a jack-o'-lantern uh, mushroom, and it looks similar to the chanterelle, uh, but the chanterelles are definitely a specific type of mushroom that if you find them, uh, you're probably okay as long as they uh, meet all of the requirements. So I would recommend that you go out and just see what you have on your property. Uh, you'd be surprised uh, what's out there. Uh, I have a number of sparkleberry uh, bushes or trees. Uh, they're similar to a blueberry or a wild blueberry. Uh, there's a number of them on my property and I really had no idea that I even had those. So, you know, go out there and look, see what you've got. Maybe you have some chanterelles. Uh, you know, maybe you have some wild muscadines uh, that you can uh, pick from later this fall. So, you know, there's always something to do on your property to see what uh, you can find and what you can actually forage and eat. So I would recommend that you do that. And I'll talk to you next time. So if you like this little quick video, let me know. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Make sure that you uh, hit the little bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And uh, talk to you later. Bye.